the process that we run the data, the Excel data is submitted against the register of voters, and that time you made a, you, you had 17 counties where you had a minimum of 2,000, and uh, we gave you a chance to appear today. Uh, I want to confirm that uh, the supporters list you submitted has met the, the requirements, and uh, we are now uh, confirm that you have the minimum requirements of supporters required for this exercise. And so on that ground, uh, we, uh, we have accepted your application for nomination as a presidential candidate uh, for the 2022 general elections. And uh, we, we wait for the certificate which will be printed to sign it. And of course, uh, together with the sample ballot, uh, uh, so, congratulations to the Secretary. Yes. If you can allow me, Mr. Chairman, to take this humble opportunity by first of all thanking God because everything that we do in this world we put God up for it. And when we get men of high intelligence, intellect, and integrity who are preparing the leadership of this country towards, towards proper emancipation. Men and women of vigor, men and women of integrity, a commission of integrity which will look into everything, all aspects of your life, regardless of who you are. And they point to you and say that you are not fit or you have erred here, and they give you the opportunity to do so. That means Kenya is attaining the highest level of democracy in this world. And on behalf of my team, I would like to take this opportunity to send my message to His Excellency, the President of this Republic, for having put this institution, for having made this institution, for having empowered this institution with the whatever resources that was required to make it make proper determination, determinations that are acceptable, determinations that are going to be a milestone in Kenya's history, to look into all aspects of Kenyan humanity and give us an opportunity. We say thank you. If even if we had not yet qualified, would have still said thank you. Because we need to run institutions that will remain as a pillar of history throughout this century and the incoming century. Mr. Chebukati, your decisions are firm and sound, and so is the Commission. And I have a lot of faith in this Commission. Should I be elected to be the President of this country? I think I have some people here who are going to serve in my cabinet. To be elected to a higher level. Because they have demonstrated to the Kenyans that they can maintain integrity and they can look into the parallels of integrity. And as I try and as I take this opportunity to tell my voters that have been there, especially a lot of people have when the media men whom I'm trying to really fight for to get enough in <laughs> proper generation, you came up with a banner. It was not a headline, but you're quite rejected. So I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> but you're still members of our community. And as I said before, I thank you very much. And now, before I sit down, I would like to thank the commissioners one by one. May God, the Almighty God, do you favors. May anyone who wants to bring this commission down be looked at as a center. May God grant you success and may God deny them immobility to come and interfere with your work. And with this I say, thank you very much as I hand over to the next Deputy President of this country. A young lady who is like five years old. She is very educated, and the husband is, uh, you know, in groups, but we don't do things the other way around. Before she came in, the husband had to say, yes, I allow her. So Justina, Mamai, Nongui, welcome, and please, it's your opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, my president. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Commissioner. 
please is a reflection to the youth that can be done. And uh, all I can say to our supporters, this certificate represents 5.5 million of you who are unemployed, 1.5 million of you who live below the poverty line of 220 shillings daily. This certificate reflects you. Thank you so much and God bless you.